Now, I know what some of you guys are going to say. What is a girl like a thoughts doing surrounded by tiny peen trees? I mean, they're so small that they're not all that useful. What you need to do is give them just a little blue pill. And then before you know it, they'll grow tenfold. Or one of them will. Okay, you might want to see a doctor about that. And if yours lasts for more than four hours, you should also see a doctor. What's up guys, welcome back to Draw Stickman Epic 2, the quest to stop Steve's D. Now even though we haven't technically stopped Steve's D yet, we have made quite a bit of progress, and learned a lot of valuable lessons along the way. Mostly that I shouldn't be trusted with the powers of a god. But sure, sometimes I'll draw something, it'll come to life, and it'll end up being a lovable, bouncy, perky protagonist, but other times it ends up being a goo-covered dick monster that's hell-bent on destroying the planet. Having a divine 50% fail rate doesn't feel great. Let's try to make up for the shortcomings of Steve's D in Chapter 6, Frog Bog. And I gotta say, I'm already digging this music. And we've got a bunch of our powers! So I, I can draw eggs, clouds, wires, leaves. <laughs> now saying that out loud is really making me think I might not be that impressive a god. Gods are usually, you know, omnipotent. They can do anything. They're least likely to be afraid of getting licked by a frog. Hey, 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 what the hell is wrong with you? You can't just lick a lady without her permission. Oh, you're trapped on that lily pad, huh? Well, then you and your googly-eyed self can just hang out over there. I'm gonna go this way. Hey, this is the pits. Yet you're telling me I just got an amphibian cooter cleaning. <gasps> What's going on with your town? What's with all the spikes? Mm. What terrible weather. Really? Weather seems to be the least of your problems. Howdy. <laughs> Find the scientist, she can help. Finally, someone's actually being useful. Our poor town, yeah, I get it, come on, give me something else. I saw something in the snake skull. Oh, okay, that's what I'm talking about, old man. I may have been the one to kill that last episode. <laughs> Did I do this to your poor town? For a second, I thought Steve's D had a bunch of weird barbs, like a cat. I don't really know if bringing these three trees back to life is going to help us against the inappropriate frogs, but I figured if it should lick anything, it should lick a giant 9-volt battery. I'm sure there's a huge smoke detector somewhere who's currently having a conniption. Okay, we kept most of the battery. You could toss that tongue over here, big boy. Really? So I still get hurt and you didn't lose your tongue? What a disappointment. <laughs> we'll have to work on that. Hello. That seems really important. An ice pencil would do a lot if we could cross all of this water. I don't know if this is going to come in handy or not, but we're going to draw the most stereotypical egg I could think of. <laughs> Our square egg is going to hatch into... A very round bird. Listen, I, I know you were just born. I don't want to come off as disappointed, but you put it this way. Your mom would have preferred if you were angular. <laughs> There's got to be a way up there, right? I don't have any way of fighting these snakes, do I? I don't think so. I just need to avoid them for now. As long as I don't stop the... No, no. Lady, now is not the time. I'm about to get eaten by snakes. <laughs> Explain your plan to repair... You're, are you serious? You've had an antenna that could fix the entire planet this entire time? Uh, uh, Patrick, Patrick, help. <laughs> Patrick, break down everything. Oh, oh, save me. I'm no longer disappointed in you, you're a hero. <gasps> okay, I'm really happy I spent the time to birth you. Could you maybe drop me down right next to that pencil? Would super appreciate it. Okay, you have served your purpose in life. I'm gonna call you Egbert. <laughs> so now we have the ability to make snow or ice. These are the kind of things that a god should know. What's with the heart? Anybody seeing that? There's a heart here. Can I go? Oh. There's a secret. Oh, there is a. There's always a secret behind the waterfall. I'll take all the hearts I can get. We can see the castle that Steve's D is hiding in. Or at least I could if I didn't have a giant starfishy ass in my face, Patrick. Now is not the time. I gotta figure out how to draw ice. How do you draw ice? 
<laughs> I would drop vanilla ice, but let's be honest, no one would recognize him, so I'm just gonna do this? Is that good? Am I gonna freeze your face in this lake? Hopefully not. Oh, okay, yeah, that works. That does not work. That, that does not work. Okay, who am I to tell you what works and what doesn't? Waterfalls aren't slanted. They fall straight down. She should have just crushed her tiny little legs. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm working on it. I'm making progress. Because now oh, we can get over to the skull. Should be able to make myself a bit of an icy bridge. A little something like that. Yeah. And then I've got myself a puzzle piece. Right? How do we get in here? Uh, Patrick, could you maybe bash this open for me? There we go. <laughs> eh, that works. I still think it looks like, you know, a thought side boob, but I can't quite tell. Do stick people need to hydrate? Like, if I freeze over all their fresh water, am I gonna doom their town even more than I already have? Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Squished Crocodile. <laughs> Can I maybe have what's in your chest? Oh, I probably need a key for that, don't I? You guys are surprisingly cool. <laughs> kind of expecting you to be munching my butt right now. Just gonna squeeze on past, don't mind me. I mean, at the very least, I'm gonna be able to work my entire way around to the townspeople. I, I can just kind of freeze everything. Oh, 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 uh, please tell me I'm not gonna freeze. Okay, good. <laughs> really didn't want to freeze the... Alligators? Crocodiles? Hopefully they don't find that offensive. It's, it's not terrible weather. Calm, it's not that terrible. Everybody calm down. Yes, I get it. It's the pits. Oh, hey, potato. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just get rid of these idiots for you. Don't really know why I'm bothering, but I might as well. It's got to be something interesting around here. Oh, okay. Well, we can draw a couple of happy little trees and get rid of your river. Yeah. Okay. That's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Kind of. Wait, no, the happy little trees should blow them up. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. I'm a genius. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to say. What is a girl like a thought doing surrounded by tiny peen trees? I mean, they're so small that they're not all that useful. What you need to do is give them just a little blue pill. And then before you know it, they'll grow tenfold. Or one of them will. Okay, you might want to see a doctor about that, and if yours lasts for more than four hours, you should also see a doctor. <gasps> what happened over here? Did, did, did the pill not work? Maybe he needs a bigger blue pill. Something like that. There we go. Okay, I was a little worried for you there, champ. Oh, please, please save me. Save me. Penetrate the evil. <laughs> Excellent. Can, can you please come over here and, and get penetrated? Come on, come on. There we go. Come over to my happy little bush. Bob Ross would be so proud right now. Well, we're definitely clearing out the evil, but... Oh, no, we are making progress. Okay, here we go. So I should be able to, once again, make myself another ice bridge. Really more of an ice ladder, but... <laughs> Whatever, okay? I don't need to be Van Gogh to get to a checkpoint. Perfect. Oh, that's... I was gonna say that's not good, but that doesn't actually matter, does it? I could just scribble on you guys and your toast, right? Oh, it didn't, it didn't do it, did I don't want wires. No, no, where'd the other one go? Yeah, free, freeze you, free, free, oh, okay. Wait, that's only temporary? Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, I can, I can freeze them, but I can't kill them? How do I kill them? Have you got any bright ideas? Thank you! What part of no means no do you frogs not understand? Oh. I think I've got an idea. Okay, maybe I can encase them and then Patrick can finish them off? No, I thought maybe we could shatter the ice, but apparently not. I could really use some help over here, lady. I mean, you've got your thing frozen. Maybe I could fix it? I don't even know what you want me to do to fix it. You just told me to kind of like hit it, right? I don't know. Maybe I can get you guys to lick it? Oh, it's a frozen pole, of course. So if you guys stop jumping on me and it's, okay, Patrick, Patrick, you're slowing me down. You're slowing me down. I'm dancing on the pole for you. There we go. That's the good stuff. And I got to keep freezing it. Oh, I'm really happy I got all those hearts. I would be smushed if not for them. Lick it, lick it, 
lick it. There we go. Okay. I've got the page. I didn't fix your magic transmitter that was going to repair the world, though. Is that bad? I feel it. I was probably supposed to fix that, wasn't I? Well, crap. So much for that plan. She had a genuinely good idea, and I, I just abandoned it. I was like, nah, screw it. I gotta move on. I've gotta go to chapter seven, which seems to be the last page. Okay. I guess Steve's D is going down. Man, that name is just never gonna stop haunting me. Chapter seven, snow soliciting. Really? You're gonna hit me with a pun, and you're gonna make it so that it's snowing right after I gain the ability to freeze stuff? Why is the water not frozen? It's snowing out. It's winter. Why do you need my pencil to freeze things? <laughs> the weather around here really is weird. The townsfolk weren't wrong. I do not want to be here right now. <laughs> I've dealt with a lot of stupid creatures. But none of them were wearing armor. Uh, oh, oh, I kind of want to save the color body though. That that kind of looks like a lever I can pull. Probably want to rain on this though, right? We'll just put out the fire. There we go, and then pull, pull the lever. That is what that is, right? It looks like, come on, pull, pull, pull the lever. You're gonna wake them up, Patrick. Can you pull the lever? Patrick, can you help me out a little bit? Why not? Bludgeon them in their sleep. Come on, Patrick. Do it. Do it. You, you know you're a cold-blooded murderer deep down, Patrick. I don't think I need to worry about waking them up. How do I get you down? What are you doing hiding up there? This is probably a mistake, but it's a mistake I'm willing to make. Like, technically, the town was safe. They couldn't be raided by the goo goblins because... I don't think they can teleport across rivers. Now they can walk across them, though. What the hell was that a thought? <laughs> Weird. Um, yes, I know, okay? I technically doomed your town, but don't worry, okay? I'll protect you. You and I are gonna live happily ever after. Just you wait. You, not so much. Yeah, you're the first one who's gonna have their booty plundered. <laughs> Hopefully somebody in this town has something for me. You, no? Everybody's just freaking out. Nothing of value. All right, then. So they're a little paranoid with the fact that they're probably going to get invaded by goo goblins. Uh, hi. You're strangely easy to find. Very rarely do we see color buddies just kind of hanging out in the wild. What's the catch? Am I about to be eaten by something? Or is there a whole lot of nothing over here? Okay, I'm thinking... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh... That's interesting, Patrick. Could we maybe... Oh. I got a sword in a stone pencil, and I get to draw my own sword. Wow, this is gonna be a mistake. I gotta say, I really appreciate the fact that they give you an outline. You're like a guide as to how to go about drawing a sword for them. And I feel like I did a pretty good job following the lines. <laughs> It looks a little bit more like Surprise Pikachu and a little bit less like a sword, but I'm proud of it either way. I ran out of yellow, so I had to color in his tail the closest thing to yellow that I could find, but it's not that noticeable, right? Oh my god, it's so much better <laughs> than I could have ever imagined. <laughs> oh, oh crap, no, 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 Pikachu, save me! <laughs> <laughs> what am I missing? I'm crying. Yes, yes, everybody, come out. Come out and see the abomination that I've made. Wow. Okay, I think I'm ready to, to save you now, right? Can can Pikachu please go ahead and uh, pull pull that lever? Pull the lever. No, I still have no idea how to go, but can we just put you away? <laughs> I need a second here. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can probably just cut the rope, of course, and put you away again. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, yeah, now you give me more yellow. <laughs> Whatever, it's for the best. <laughs> Am I going to have to go pick in a fight now? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, okay, bring it. Yeah, you, surprise a chew is ready for you, maybe. You guys coming or what? 
Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna break my way in there. And can we do, oh, we can do that. Okay, yeah, br bring bring it on, bring it on. Come on, you see what, see what you guys got. How do I tactically fight in this game? <laughs> I'm just swinging around a Pikachu. <laughs> Come on, guy, yeah, 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 you better run. You better run, that's right, I'm gonna take this whole fortress down. No, 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 nobody runs from the long reach of the surprise at you. This may be the best thing I've ever drawn. I'm sorry, I, I really do love Patrick, don't get me wrong, but I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. <gasps> Ooh, here we go. How am I going to get up there? Oh, I might need a bird. Right, so we can draw um, another stereotypical looking Christmas tree egg. You should hatch into a big boy. Yeah, oh. Oh, you actually did hatch into a big boy. I made an obese bird because of all the chips and crap in it. Oh, no, can you can you please roll over this way? There aren't enough Pokemon in the world to stop this Butterball from rolling downhill, and now I think he's frozen? <laughs> so that's not particularly helpful. I'm thinking I may have needed to catapult myself. If we go and stand on the other end, and then he rolls, he might just toss me up there? If I hang out here and then go ahead and draw another egg, we gonna get another obese bird? I'm really sorry about this. I I'm not trying to continue bringing you guys into the world like this. Perfect, oh, I choose you, Pikachu. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> suck it. <laughs> and we'll break you to, man, I'm never gonna need Patrick again. Which is a sad thing to say because boy oh boy do I love Patrick, but this is working great. I don't know what the point of that room was. Ooh. Okay, now we're getting places. Uh, Patrick, can you? No. Nobody can break these things. Aren't they batteries? No, I don't want to go back. What, what's happening? I want to go forward. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what exactly all these barrels are. Oh, they're probably barrels. See, now that my brain tells me what they are, I don't need to guess. Do a little something like that. There we go. Could you, uh,. Die, thank you very much. I don't know what's going on with the drummer in the background, but something is weird here. I, I brought all the trees back to life and nothing seems to really be happening. There's all those batteries or barrels lying around, but there's nothing else for me to do. I'm clearly missing something. Was there something over here for me? Oh. Oh, can I walk out? Oh, okay. We can move further up. It's all fine and dandy. I got myself a checkpoint and I cleared out everything down there, but it still really feels like I'm missing something big here. I don't know what exactly we're doing up here. Is this because I said I was missing something big? That that was a poor choice of words. Okay, um, I choose you. Pikachu, oh crap, ow, there we go. Okay, so do we just hurt his hands? Oh, no, his hands hurt me. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we can uh, draw, oh, that's a beautiful looking egg. <laughs> can I please get a chicken? Oh no, I'll take a dragon. Dragon's a lot more useful than a chicken. Okay, so can you, mm, I, don't, I can't I can't touch him. I can't, Pikachu is useless here. I need him to be smashing, hit him, hit him, there we go. Okay, I, I mainly need him to be smashing this stuff because then I can summon more dragons. Would not have expected dragon eggs. What's the difference between a dragon egg and a bird egg? How do I summon one or the other? Can you please come over here and smash this? Come on. Come on, big guy. There we oh, 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 hey, that. Does he have a health bar? No, I think we just need to get all the dragons out. That's perfectly fine by me. We'll get a pyramid dragon. Eh, don't smush me. <laughs> Surprise Pikachu's expression is flawless for this moment. Could it not have chosen a better sword? You guys are doing a great job scorching his nose bone, but he doesn't seem to be taking too much damage. Okay, I wonder how big of an egg I can draw. What if we get a nice big dragon out of this? Okay, now we're talking. <gasps> oh, that made a blue dragon. Oh, that's bad. Oh no, I pulled a Game of Thrones and gave him a dragon. Gave him five dragons. <laughs> and let me guess. Now the townsfolk are boned. I said that you were gonna be the first one who gets his butthole ravaged. Booty splundered. I can't remember what I said, it was a butt joke. <gasps> Man, I don't want 
want to save these idiots. Just let them be dragon food. Screw it. Who, who cares? Oh, I still got one friend, though, right? Stay away from Pikachu. Oh, that that's not the, the place you want to be facing. <laughs> well, at least he's going to help me out. We've made our way to the castle. That's good. We got another heart, and we got the page. So... Are we now gonna face Steve's D? Is there one more chapter? Are you gonna be my friend and help me out here or what? Can't I just bury Pikachu and Steve's D and be done? Ooh, yeah, there is definitely gonna be another evil chapter. So we still have to face off against Steve's D and we still haven't gotten the key pencil. I'm, I'm still missing one more pencil, which means I have one more dumb drawing to do. And if there's a whole nother chapter, then you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Draw Stickman Epic 2, The Quest to Stop Steve's D, guys. We've got one more video left because I would kind of like to go back with all of the pencils that I've accumulated and find some of the secrets. I think some of them are going to be really funny and entertaining, and then we clearly need to finish things off. I don't want to rush the last chapter because this is the payoff. I finally get my revenge. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.